Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one I'm gonna try and attempt to install Android 10 again. Last time I failed really badly <laughs> and almost complete, well I did completely brick my phone but I managed to find a way to get around that, you can see in my last video. Uh, so first of all, if you if you watched the last video we're kind of all set up. So what you'll need is to be on the latest Android 9, which is the 1910-64. And you will also need to have Magisk installed, but don't have TWRP installed. So just flash boot the Magisk patched boot image and it should all be okay. So now if we go over to the PC here. Now where you'll get the updates for the Android 10 is from Telegram. These are the Vietnamese boys. Uh, this is the link here so you can just follow that and then join them there. So since we are updating from Android 9 we will need to download the first link here which is the one of the larger ones, it's one gigabyte. So just download that one, uh, copy it over, or just download it somewhere over your PC, and then connect your phone to the computer because we'll need to copy this over as well. Uh, make sure your computer or your phone actually wants to transfer files. So there we go. And just drag it inside here so where you see your downloads and all that kind of good stuff just drag it in copy to the root of it all right so once that's done go over to your phone and you should have inside your file manager and just go to internal storage at the very bottom you should have the file here uh, make sure uh, information so if you look at the information of it Make sure the name is exactly the same as what they have here. So just double check. All right. So that's all good. And then what you want to do is just reboot your phone, restart. This is so that the phone recognizes the update file. This was from when I was making the custom uh, EDL cable. So I used like wires from an old USB cable <laughs> to make this. All right, so once the phone reboots, it should automatically detect the update. Uh, first of all, you just don't update straight away. What we wanna do is go into Magisk Manager and go into uninstall restore images stock backup does not exist okay dokey <laughs> all right so if this happens to you we just need to boot into stock backup so uh, just ignore this update for now uh, go into modules and then just reboot to bootloader so that's just a nice fast way of doing it. Anyway, so we're gonna flash Magisk with TWRP, sure. So once you're here, uh, it's kind of annoying to do in Windows, but go over to your, where you have TWRP, uh, just do the boot one. So 14 pi, just copy this one. I'll have a link for this in the description. So just copy whichever the latest one is there. And then go into wherever your fucking platform tools are. So you should have like ADB fastboot should be here and it is, and then just paste it here. Copy over your uh, boot image, that link in the description, the stock one into your where you have fastboot installed, and then just run fastboot exe flash boot boot image, and it should look like this. That means it's fine. And then fastboot 
reboot bootloader. And so we should be back inside here once again, but now we have stock. Now we want to do fast boot boot, so just boot, don't flash boot, then twrp image. Make sure it's the Pi version as well. We'll be using the Android Q1 later on if this works. Alright, so that's once that's up there, go to install. Uh, if you don't have magisk.zip in, inside your phone, um, while you're in TWRP, you can look at your phone storage. Go to downloads, then just copy over your magisk.zip from the download. So once you did that, click on the zip and then swipe to flash. And then you should see here, it'll detect a stock boot image, which is what we want. So now we should make a backup of it, reboot the system. So it's important here to not have TWRP installed, which is grand. All right, so once you're back here, you should see an update pop up. Don't press it yet. Now go into your Magisk Manager and hopefully now we can uninstall and restore images. Perfect. So now we still have root since we are currently booted, but we just restored the stock boot image for this. So go over to the notifications and, and then just click on it and click OK. And hopefully this installs for you successfully. So you can see the progress there in the status bar. So I'll just leave this do its thing. All right, so last time when I tried doing this, the update failed at like around 70%, which we're coming up fairly close to. And then basically my whole system was unbootable. So we'll see if that's the story with this as well. All right, well, it seems it got past it. So I think the best way to update to Android 9 is to flash stock, uh, just a complete stock, 1910.64 Android 9 version. And then that way, I don't know, because I did like this exactly the same way as before, but last time it crashed really hard. <laughs> I guess I had like a lot of stuff installed and I don't know, the updater didn't like it or something. All right, so it's at 99% now. Great, it is successful. Uh, when this crap comes up, just click later. Uh, go back into Magisk. Uh, press the install. Uh, install and then install to an active slot after OTA and then just click OK. Then it's going to detect stock boot image and then flash it again and hopefully we will have Android 10 properly working. Okay, okay, so it looks like it's okay, and then just press reboot. And we will pray. Alright, so far it's black screen, not bad. <laughs> oh, there we go. There was like a tiny powered by Android yoke there before the bootloader. Alright. Okay, it's finishing update there, but it looks like we were successful in updating. There we go, system update successful. So now we should be on Android 10. So let's go over. Uh, system, about phone, baseband, and there we go. So we're on that one. And 
Yeah, so Android version 10. There we go, perfect. <laughs> All right, so that's how it is. Now I'm gonna make a backup of this. Oh yeah, we should also check if uh, Magix is still there. Yeah, so there we go. We have Magisk with, um, Christ, this is so annoying. Uh, how the fuck do I turn this off? And there we go. All right, so I'll just update all of this. And then I'm gonna make a backup of Android 10 in TWRP. So if you wanna know how to do that, stick on by. Uh, so where you have your ADB stuff, just leave that open and we will need to copy over TWRP and get the TWRP 14 Q version, drag it in here. <coughs> so since we're now in Android Pi, we'll just boot into this one, but we won't install it since uh, updating to the next beta update will be easier without having um, Pi or uh, TWRP installed. So I'm just gonna wait for everything to update and we'll continue from there. All right, so I'm, I updated all the stuff. And so now we'll just reboot back into the bootloader. So quickest way of doing that is through Magisk. And then plug in your cable to the side of the phone. And now we will boot into the Android 10 TWRP. So passboot, oh, boot, then TWRP. Uh, the Q one. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's the same name, just Q. Don't know why Windows doesn't show it then. Okay, yeah, man, I really don't like using Windows command prompt. It's so annoying. <laughs> anyway. So now it should be booting up. All right, there we go. Just gonna check if decryption works, it does, very nice. So just back up and then I like to back up everything except the data and then back up the data separately. Then for the encryption, I'm just gonna generate some password here or type in some password, I mean. And then for the name, I always like to call it something meaningful. So like, since this is Android 10, I'm just gonna call it 10, beta, five, and then clean, then append the date, and that should be good. And then you can just swipe the backup, and this will save the backup inside your uh, phone's TWRP folder. So then a good thing after you back this up is to copy over that TWRP folder to your computer. So that way, if your phone gets messed up and you need to like flash the whole ROM, that way you'll still have the backup on your computer. Then you could just quickly restore it here. All right. So once that's done, let's go back, set the encryption again. It should be the same as last time. And then I'm going to back up only the data this time. Oh yeah, this beta 6, I think I called it something else. <laughs> uh, data only. And back that up. Since there isn't too much data on at the moment, this should be grand. It's when you have like all the apps and stuff downloaded, then this data backup takes way longer than the rest of the backups. <laughs> All right, there we go, it's perfect. So now each time you wanna use TWRP, just um, 
boot from fast boot since you don't want to permanently install it as recommended by the Vietnamese boys so yeah that's um that's about it there so thanks for watching and bye bye